My name is Dermot O'Connell. I'm Director of Corporate Development at Tesla Motors. Uh, we are up on Capitol Hill today on the house side for a Green the Capital event. We're invited along with all the other uh, uh, OEM auto man automotive manufacturers to display our latest green uh, technology. This is the Tesla Roadster, and in the interest of full disclosure, I'd like to point out this is one of our early prototypes, so not really representative of what uh, either where our prototypes are right now, much later in the prototyping process, or where the production vehicles are going to be. Notwithstanding, it's a good representation of the car, and it's actually a quite nice car. Uh, the Tesla Roadster is a 100% electric performance sports car. Uh, it has 0 to 60 time of just under 4 seconds. Uh, it has an EPA certified uh, single charge range of 248 miles. Um, it is powered by uh, three major components. Uh, the, the three major components of electric drivetrain are, uh, and they're right under here under the trunk, um, a battery, which is, we refer to as the ESS, the Energy Storage System, the power electronics, which is the charger inverter technology of the car. And by the way, the charger is on board, allowing you to plug this car in to any electrical outlet that you find, 240, 110, notwithstanding. And then there's the motor, an AC induction motor, 248 horsepower equivalent, and a transmission. This is a two-speed car, and giving you that 0 to 60 performance. It's also got enough, as you can see, enough trunk space for, we designed it specifically to accommodate a tour bag of golf clubs, uh, but it's also got a false bottom so that you can put a substantial size uh, suitcase in there. Uh, you're seeing it now with its uh, roll-away soft top on. Uh, it also has an optional hard top, uh, and, uh, and, but as a roadster, you'd probably most often be driving it with no top on at all, especially in California, probably a little less than here in Washington. Um, things I want to point out, one is the, uh, the charge port door, uh, often misunderstood uh, on first inspection as a, uh, as, a, as a gas cap. It's not. This is a 100% electric car. Uh, a couple other things about the car, um, it is a 100% carbon fiber body. It is a uh, aluminum chassis. Uh, it is a state-of-the-art uh, sports car in terms of its suspension and handling. Um, and uh, we're very excited about introducing it. Uh, we're scheduled to start producing these cars in the first quarter of 2008. This is mo the model really here is to excite folks about, about the electric vehicle technology by giving them a car that is uh, desirable, which is sort of notable in the uh, in the green car space. Uh, historically, it, this space hasn't has been occupied by, in a lot of cases, glorified golf cars. Um, this is an attempt to really excite the general public about that. Having done that, having created a niche, having demonstrated the merits of the technology, uh, but especially its efficiency, which I didn't mention, which is around 135 mile per gallon equivalent. That's a fairly complicated uh, uh, formula that we get to that, but that demonstrates how efficient the drivetrain really is, a, a pure electric drivetrain. But having created that, that initial market, that niche market with this halo car, and creating the brand, uh, our plan So having created a market for electric vehicles, high performance electric vehicles with the Tesla Roadster, which is a car that we'll never really produce in great volumes, a couple thousand a year is probably an appropriate number. Um, the goal is really to produce a more useful uh, vehicle, a broader market vehicle, let's say, a four-door, five-passenger sedan, something for which we carry on the drivetrain that we developed for this car. So similar efficiency and similar performance. Um, but at a more accessible price point, like fifty to sixty thousand dollar price point, and produce those vehicles in the tens of thousands of vehicles a year for the closest to fifty thousand vehicles. In some senses you can think of this car as a thousand dollar and I'm freelancing with the number, a thousand dollar cell phone of the nineteen eighties. Um, all technology, all successful technology has generally been introduced at the high end of the market to early adopters who are willing to pay a premium for that car. And then with their adoption, with its commercial viability, manufacturing scale can come online and we can move down the cost curve to higher volume and lower cost. So what's the timetable for the second car? So projecting start of production in 2010. Which sounds like a long time, but it's actually aggressive. Mm -hmm.